to see you again. Good to see you again. Congratulations. Yeah. Thank you. Say good congratulations. Thank you, sir. Well, good to see you again. Congratulations. Yep. Go ahead and take a seat, fellas. All right, we're going to go ahead and get started because I know a lot of you guys, especially here in the Central and the uh, Eastern Time Zones, we're on we're on uh, deadlines. So, uh, Coach Ryan Looney, the head coach for uh, Point Loma, is here. They will move on to play North uh, Northwest Missouri State tomorrow uh, Saturday at two o'clock. Our student athletes Dalton Hummus and Ziggy Satterwaite will be joining us. Same drills we've been doing all week, guys. Uh, coach will make opening comments. We'll open it up for the student athletes. We'll go ahead and release them, and then we'll uh, hear from Coach for a few more minutes. Coach, terrific win tonight. Thank you. Um, I just want to give a quick shout out to uh, Southern Indiana. They were fantastic, extremely well coached. I was so impressed watching them uh, last night and on film today, uh, getting ourselves prepared um, for this game. Uh, they were definitely uh, a tough out. Uh, I also want to talk a little bit about community of Evansville, that environment was awesome. Um, these guys who play Division II, they work their tail off uh, all year long, and to play in that kind of uh, environment this late in the year was unbelievable. Okay, we'll open it up for questions for the student athletes. Wayne, go ahead and kick us off. Uh, yeah, it's a, um, I just want to give credit to all my teammates and coaches. Um, uh, obviously, I wouldn't have got this award if it wasn't for them and we were, uh, if we weren't in this position. Um, so, yeah, it's kind of a dream come true, um, but I'm definitely definitely not what I want, um, and I want one more win. Guys, uh, we do have a microphone, so uh, just raise your hand and we'll get the mic over to you. Talk, about, sorry, talk to me about dealing with the foul trouble. It felt like you didn't have your stars out there very much. Um, talk about some of the guys, Noah Stapes, and other ones that stepped up in their roles today. Yeah, uh, it's been a while since we've had ourselves uh, in that position. We built that lead in the first half. We had uh, four of our five starters that got their second foul. Uh, we went a long stretch with guys that haven't played uh, extended minutes uh, in quite a while for us. Um, Southern Indiana was able to fight back in it, make it a one-point uh, game at halftime. Uh, but then we got into some foul trouble again in the second half, and some of those same guys stepped up for us. Noah Stapes, uh, it's been a few games since he's actually even got in, but with Tanner Nelson's foul trouble, we thought we needed him uh, defensively, and he did a, he did a really good job. Um, Kane Anderson came off the bench, uh, played a couple minutes, made a big uh, play. Um, I could go down the line. I mean, we put 10, 11 guys in there, and they all contributed to this win. Go ahead. Coach. Your team was able to hold a U.S. side without a field goal within the first 6.45 of the game. What do you credit that to? Our players. Um, early in the year, we weren't great defensively. Um, it was a little bit of a struggle uh, to get ourselves uh, where we're at now. Uh, as we've gotten in the postseason, I think that we've just continued to get a little bit better and better uh, on that end of the floor. And our guys are fighting right now. They want this. Go ahead. Uh, Dalton, it seemed like every time you guys went up 10, 11, 12 points, USI cuts it back to two possessions. What about them was pesky or, you know, what were they doing to just kind of hang around? Um, they didn't give up. Um, credit to them. They worked extremely hard um, and they have some great players. Um, so, yeah, just credit to them. Up on the deck. Hey, Dalton, playing the number one seed tomorrow or on Saturday, do you feel like your team's maybe taking the underdog mentality into this one, or kind of what, what's the thought process there? Um, yeah, I mean, coming in as a six seed, um, we're definitely the underdog, um, and we like that. Um, I've kind of been an underdog my whole life as well. Um, so we're just going to take the same uh, mentality we have, um, take it um, one game at a time, and we have one game left, so we're going to give it all we got. Ziggy, I'll go ahead and ask a question of you. What a terrific game that you had tonight. Um, you know, rebounding-wise, able to really do some great things. Talk about your performance this evening in the national semifinal. Uh, yeah, um, I just feel like I was in the position to make plays. Um, teammates got me the ball. Um, <clears throat> we take pride in rebounding. Um, and, our, you know, we just went out and did that. Go ahead up on the deck. Uh, coach, to be able to play the uh, obviously in the national championship, but to be able to have an opportunity to beat the number one team in the nation and hand them their first loss, what would that mean to you and your team? 
We don't care who we play. Uh, we're thankful to be there. Uh, we've watched them, obviously, here this week. They're fantastic. Uh, anyone you would play in that game would be fantastic. So we know they're good. Uh, we have a ton of respect uh, for them. Um, we know that we're going to have to be at our best to win the game. Do, do you have one? Yeah. Okay, go ahead. Oh, coach, uh, so we saw at seven or six, seven, eight all win, or five, six, you know, five, six, seven uh, the other day win. Does that just speak to how tough this field was coming into today or coming into this week? It does. Uh, and in my opinion, it's so hard uh, with the seeds. A, a lot of us around the country rarely play outside of our region. Um, we played 30 whatever games now. Uh, and before we got here, we had only played outside the West region one time. Um, and a lot of other teams here have similar schedules too. So I get the seating. Everyone has to be placed uh, somewhere. Um, we were fine with where we were at. Um, but yeah, I, I mean, yeah, it's, I think it's remarkable that all those teams got through. Um, but it's hard to really get a gauge on it without getting to this point and actually squaring off against each other. Coach, you talked in the opening press conference about introducing Division Two to Point Loma. Um, what, what have you done the last two games to do that? And obviously, you're not done yet. But can you kind of talk about uh, getting your program out there in this tournament a little bit? Yeah, um, I wanted that opportunity to talk about uh, our institution uh, and our location. Uh, we know that we came here, like Dalton said, with the underdog. Uh, mentality. We showed up in Evansville and really nobody knew what Point Loma was or where it is. Um, now we're going to get a chance to play on national TV. I'm going to guess uh, our admissions office is probably going to receive a whole lot of uh, applications here this spring. Wayne. Dalton or Ziggy, you don't want to give. Um, you had a nice lead and then going into the half it got trimmed down to one. What, just, what did you guys talk about at halftime and what were the adjustments that you made? Um, we just got away from playing how we play for a second. Um, obviously, you can't do that against a good team like that. Um, basically, in a home game, you know, it was packed, a lot of supporters here. So we just had to get back to playing how we play, playing uh, unselfishly and playing for the guy next to us. Ziggy, it looked like you had an injury in the second half. Can you elaborate on what happened? Uh, yeah, I was just cramping really badly in my calves. Do we have any other questions for the student athletes? Okay, we're gonna go ahead and release the student athletes. We'll keep coach here for a quick second. Gentlemen, congratulations on a great win and good luck on Saturday in the national championship game. Okay, uh, we do have time for a few more questions for coach. Yeah, coach, maybe what do you know about Northwest? And did I, is, is, have, you, have you been able to see them? What, what do they do well just kind of about that matchup? Very well coached, uh, extremely talented. Uh, a lot of guys who can shoot the three. Um, I've been most impressed with how hard they've defended since we've been here. So like I said before, um, we know what we're up against. We're gonna do a really good job to get our guys rested uh, and prepared and give them our best shot on Saturday. And obviously Dalton named player of the year today. Just how special has he been for you at the program? And just what, what, what kind of mismatch nightmare is he for other teams? Well, he's obviously been special for us, but I wish in words how I could say how special this is uh, for him. We're talking about a kid that would have had a chance to play at the highest levels of Division One if it weren't for some pretty serious injuries uh, when he was younger. Um, I don't know a lot of guys that would have fought through what he fought through to get himself to the place uh, where he's at right now. So like I said, it, he's done so much uh, for us, for Point Loma. Uh, for our team, but I, I couldn't be happier for anyone out there uh, to be able to get to where he's gotten with the adversity that he's fought through. Any other questions for Coach? Awesome, Coach. Thank you very much. Congratulations, and we will see you Saturday afternoon. Thank you. Thank you.